Hi, I'm Ewan from Artmob here in Hobart. Today I want to tell you about one of the most interesting dot painting artists that we've ever found in this gallery. His name's Cam Cameron Ross Kamari. He paints with the tip of a toothpick. A painting like this here is one of his recent masterpieces. It took him six months to paint this. It's not big, but look at the fine work in it. I first discovered him in an art centre in Alice Springs back about six years ago. I was amazed at his work. After a couple of years of admiring his work, I eventually found the guy himself and we built up a very interesting relationship. He remembers stories from his early days when he was out um, cattle droving, working stockyards, etc., out east of Alice Springs. And as a very impressionable young fella, he knew that there were spirits and beings, and Gadaichi men in particular, the medicine man, who had caused trouble. Now, he, as a young fella, got into trouble occasionally too, as we all do. Now, when he was 16, he was sent off to a juvenile detention centre out at Wallace Rock Hole, about 150 kilometres west of Alice Springs, out in the McDonnell Ranges. Before they put them into the camp there, they said, right, go and hang around for a couple of hours until we get the place ready. So off he went into the bush because he liked walking in the bush. Now, as he went in the bush, he saw a brightly coloured little little wren. And it was a red and white wren here. Now, that was not the natural colour of such a bird. He walked further into the bush and found a yellow and white wren. He wasn't too sure what they really were, but with the way that their tails stuck up, he knew that they were fairy wrens. Went further on and found a double blue, a light blue and a dark blue fairy wren. And these three birds there continued to hop further and further into the bush. He followed them till he suddenly realised that this was not normal. This was totally abnormal. The colours were weird. Um, it was just too magical a situation. And he realised then that he was being led astray by the Gadaicha man. Now this, this has, st has um, stuck with him for many, many years. He tells other stories about white kangaroo, which again is quite a, a magical story, this albino kangaroo, but that's, that's another story. Cameron's nearly 50 years old. He continues to paint with extraordinary deafness. Um, there are all sorts of embodied little messages in there, little bits of symbols, you can see them here, through here. You can see the Gadachi man himself down here, the trees of the landscape. The whole thing is just a fascinating uh, painting. But to top it off, you know, check this out. He writes a story on the back. Now, you can't read it all there because the frame and the out-of-box frame covers most of that up, but we do have a photograph of that which tells the story. And the full transcript of that as well is up on our website. Look him up under Artists Cameron Ross Kamari. Fascinating artist. Thank you.